Now, why do women go after guys who are taken and not the single ones? All right, I'm going to use two restaurants just to draw this analogy. We have two restaurants. They could be together, side to side, far from each other, it doesn't matter. Two restaurants. One of them is always packed. One of them is never packed. One is full of customers. The other one has no customers. Now, logically, you may think um, if you're hungry, you're going to go to the restaurant that you don't have to wait that long. It's a two-minute wait to get your food. You're going to go to that restaurant. Logically, that's what you're thinking. That's not what you're going to do because emotionally, you're going to follow the crowd. You're going to go to the restaurant that has a lot of customers because that restaurant is, is social proof, meaning the fact that a lot of people are going there, the fact that it has a lot of customers, it says the food is good. It must be good or they wouldn't have any customers. Now, the other restaurant that's empty, you're naturally gonna, gonna um, assume that, well, the food is not that good. It can't be. The service is not that good. It can't be because they would have more customers than that. So, even though you're hungry and you're starving, you're gonna go to the restaurant that even though you have to wait half an hour to get your food, you're gonna go there, then go to the empty one that you wouldn't have to wait that long. So, what does this have to do with women and men in dating and why women chase men that are taken? Well, the same same theory, same same thing applies. All right, you have a guy who's single and a guy who's taken. Logically, you would think women would rather pursue the guy who's single because he's more available. But you have to remember that women are not logical creatures. They're, they go off of, of their emotions. So logically, she should go after the single guy, but she's not. Nine out of ten times, she's going to go after the guy who already has a girlfriend, a wife, already dealing with a lot of girls, whatever. She's going to go after that guy, even though she has to wait, even though there's competition, even though she might get beat up, whatever. It's a lot of risk to go after the guy who's taken, but she's not thinking on a rational, logical level. She's thinking, the fact that this guy is taken, it must mean there's something good about him. The fact that a woman or women would choose this guy, there must be something good or special about him. Whether it's a sex game, whether it's the way he treats women, whether it's whatever. It's game, it doesn't matter. All right? She's going to think there's something special about this guy, which is why he's taken. Now, the guy on the other hand who's single, why, why are you single? There must be something wrong with you. Why would you be single? Why aren't there any women chasing you? I mean, he must treat women bad. His sex game must, must suck. He must be diseased. Whatever. That's what's going through a girl's mind. Not um, logically, but um, subconsciously, in the back of her head, that's what's going on. This guy is single because something is wrong with him. Now, on the other hand, the guy who's taken, the fact that he has women already in his life, it means he's safe. It means he's good. It means he treats women okay or good. It means he's good in bed, whatever, or else he would be single. Okay, so... Basically, that's the reason why women are going after guys who already have someone. Those guys are seen as safe or good. Okay? The guy who's single, he doesn't have that on his side. He can't say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy to woman, and this is why I'm single. No, or else you wouldn't be single. There will be tons of women flocking at your door. Okay? So, that is basically um, the restaurant analogy that ties into the whole thing as far as to why women go after guys who are taken and not the single ones, okay? So, I mean, you can see this every day. Just go out, go walk the block, and you will see it happen. You will see two restaurants in there, and one of them has more customers than the other. And it simply boils down to the fact that the fact that the other one restaurant has a lot of customers, it means the food is good, okay? It means they have good service. The one that has no customers, it generally tends to mean the opposite. The food is, is suck, or they have bad service, okay? So it might not be the case, but the fact of the matter is people are gonna follow the crowd. If you're a guy and you have a lot of women chasing you, a lot of women are gonna continue to chase you. If you're a guy who has no women chasing you, well, you're pretty much out of luck, okay? So that's what it basically boils down to, guys. Women want the men who are already taken, okay? Just how it is.